So I think uh, we should get started right in the interest of time. No. So okay. thank you so much for joining today's class, today morning class. Uh, since we are, uh, you know, lagging behind the syllabus uh, very much, we need to pick up the pace and, uh, you know, we need to uh, try to make up, okay, by uh, whatever means we can make up, right? So today we wanted to start the seventh chapter. And uh, the seventh chapter of yours uh, is time and work, right? Over here, we are following uh, the Pathfinder book. And from there, it's like the seventh chapter over here, the time and work. One of the chapters of your, you know, also in your AFCAT examinations as well. So over here, you've got like two to four questions coming in from uh, time and work. Okay, So let's get started. So there are a few of the rules, a few of the formulas over here that I wanted to talk about. Okay, so the first formula, I'm not a very big formula of, uh, you know, kind of formula as such. Every one of you know it, right? Vikaran and uh, those of you have watching it, you know, on YouTube or like that. But still, uh, since it's there in the book, it makes it uh, pretty much imperative for us to learn about that, right? And we should know it, right? I mean, we should not hate the formulas per se right now because many a time it can be a uh, savior, isn't it? Okay, so that is also the case. So the rule one says if a person can do a piece of work in N days, okay, let us say a person can do a work in uh, 15 days, okay, then he will do, then he will do one by N of the work in one day. And if a person can do one by N, okay, let's take it one by one. If a person can do a piece of work in N days, let's say N is equal to 15 days, then he will do one by N, that means one by N. That means one by 15th of the work in one day. And if a person can do one by nth, one by nth, one by 15th of the work in one day, then he will complete the work in n days. I'm pretty much sure this is uh, pretty much self-explanatory. So example also they have given, if Raj can do a piece of work in 20 days, then he will do one by 20th of the work in one day. So over here, the note is given that if the problem, in the problems related to time and work, it is always considered that the men, that the man and a woman works at uniform rate, right? Meaning that the person completing the work in 15 days, he'll work like one by 15th, 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 a total of 15 times, okay, 15 times to complete the work. That means what? On every single day, on each of the day, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, okay, the amount of work that is being done by that person is same, okay. This is the assumption that we work with as far as your time and work is concerned. And the second rule is about uh, A and B, uh, if they can do a piece of work in X and Y days respectively, Let's, uh, uh, you know, call it like uh, 15 and 30 days respectively. Then the time taken by A plus B together. Okay. Then the time taken by A plus B together to complete the work is reciprocal of A plus B's one day's work. What is A plus B's one day work? A's one day work is 1 by 15 and plus B's one day work is 1 by 30. Okay. Whatever we get over here, we need to do what? The reciprocal of it. Okay, reciprocal of it. And if we do not want to do all that stuff, there is a short formula as well, which reads like AB by A plus B. Okay, so that means 15 into 30 divided by 15 plus 30, that means 45, right? That means 10 days, right? This is your rule number. I hope it is pretty much clear to you. Okay. 
and if a and b and complete a work in x days and a alone in a alone can finish the work in y days okay so if a and b let's say a and b together can complete the work in let's say 10 days okay and a alone can finish off the work in 15 days then the number of then the number of days required to complete the work by b that is given by that is given by what it is basically what 1 by a plus b minus of 1 by a that means what we will be finding out the one day work of b okay so when we get this one day work of b and reciprocate this value reciprocate this value what do we get we get how much time will be taken by b to complete the job right or the work or otherwise we have a formula for that as well which reads as a b divided by b minus a right okay root in x y and b as well both okay so a b right a b is your 10 into 15 by 15 minus 5 okay so that means 10 into 15 15 minus 10 three times it will go 30 days okay so how much time will be taken by b it will be 30 days right um i'm pretty much sure you are understanding the kind of sense that i'm trying to make okay over here one by a plus b means what one day work by a and b both of them together minus one day work given by a alone which will essentially give us the one day work by b alone the next one is if a and b can do a piece of work if a and b can do a piece of work in x days like together okay and b and c can do a piece of work in in uh, y days together and c and a can do the same work in z days then they will complete the same work in 2xyz divided by xy plus yz plus zx days z by zx days by working together okay let us call it like a plus b are working together in 10 days okay and b plus c working together they finish off the work in 20 days and c plus a finish off the work in 30 days so this is the value of your what basically your x y and z so then they will complete the same work if working together so what is the value of a plus b plus c all of them working together okay so that is given by a formula over here which reads as 2 into a into b into c divided by xy xy means what 10 into 20 plus yz that means 20 into 30 plus zx that means 30 into 10 okay which is nothing but 2 into 10 into 20 into 30 divided by 200 600 300 okay that means 1000 okay 1 2 3 1 2 3 gone on to a toss 3 2 6 12 okay so working together all of them will finish it off in 12 days or otherwise what you can also do is that you can find out the one day work by a plus b then one day work by b plus c then one day work by c plus a right when you add this the value that we will be getting is is two times of one day work given by a plus b plus c right because everywhere two times of a b c a b c c a is being added over here okay which will essentially come out to be how much it will essentially come out to be 2 by 12 okay? so this two got cancelled so a plus b plus c all three of them working together will finish it off in 12 days right away Karan, shall we move yes yes easy one very easy one we like to do it uh, using the formula or the lcm method let's try to do different different methods in different different questions okay let's not do all the methods for each of the questions because you know because of the paucity of time what we should do is that let's let's do this one using the formula raj can do a piece of work 
in 20 days. Rohan can do it in 12 days. Okay. So together, what is the formula for both of them working together? The formula is x, y divided by x plus y. Okay. That means the number of days. X and Y are the individual number of days taken by Raj and Rohan to finish off the work. Okay. That means 20 plus 12. Okay. 20, 12, 32, 8 times, 2 times, 5 times. Okay. That means 15 by 2 and 15 by 2 is nothing but 7 and a half. Right. Okay. So which answer option is correct? B is your correct answer option over here. Right. Shall we move? Yes. Yes. This one. Let's try to do this uh, using a different, uh, you know, approach. A and B together can do a piece of work. A and B together can do a piece of work in, let's say, 12 days. And A alone can do it in 1 by, sorry, not 1 by, A alone can do it in 18 days. In how many days can B alone do it? So to find out that, essentially, what do we do? One day work by A plus B together minus one day work by A alone, which will give us essentially one day work by B alone. Okay, so 1 by a plus b is nothing but 1 by 12 minus 1 by 18 is equal to 1 by b. 36 is equal to 1 by b. Okay, that means 1 by 36 is equal to 1 by b. That is why time taken by b alone to finish up the work will be 36 days. Right? Days. Which answer option is correct? That is c. Okay. So we'll move to the next question. Next question or concept or something like that. So this one is A and B can do a piece of work in three days. Okay. Now over here we leverage a different approach over here. Okay. A and B can do a piece of work in three days. A plus B can finish off the work in three days. And B plus C in nine days. A plus C in 12 days. Find the time taken by A plus B plus C together. Time is equal to what? So in that case, we'll, we'll assume some different methodology over here. Okay. Let's call it, uh, you know, LC methodology. Okay. So what we do is that all the information that have, we have been given over here, all the premises that we have, we take the LCM of it. 36 is the LCM of it and we assume this one to be the total work. Okay, 36 is your total work. So A plus B, B plus C and A plus C. A plus B take 3 days, B plus C take 9 days and A plus C takes 12 days. To complete this 36 amount of work, that means obviously A plus B is doing 12 work per day and B plus C is doing 4 work per day. Then only it will become 36. This will become 36 and 3 work per day to make 36 multiplication of all of this. Okay. So that means adding all of these in a particular day in a particular day twice of adding this one this one this one it will give us twice of a plus b plus c right twice of a plus b plus c now just adding all of this 12 plus 4 16 plus 3 19 right 12 plus 4 16 plus 3 19 so twice of a plus b plus c together will be doing how much 19 work that means A plus B plus C will be able to do 19 by 2 days, sorry, 19 by 2 work per day. Okay. So if this much of work is being happening, total 36 work we need to do divided by 19, right? We'll have to do something like that. 
this is nothing but total work divided by one day work by a plus b plus c that is nothing but 36 divided by 19 by 2 and this 2 will go up in the denominator which will essentially become your 72 by 90 right so when you solve this you will find c is your correct answer option over here right yes sir. let's move on to the next question in that case next question concept or whatever comes into the picture yeah there's some rule number five i'm i'm not a very big fan of it okay but still i'll let you know if two groups m1 uh, m1 persons of the first group can do w1 work in d1 days working T1 hours in a day earning a sum of R1 and M2 person of the second group can do W2 work in D2 days working T2 hours in a day earning a sum of rupees 2-1 a sum of rupees R2 if each person of the group has the same efficiency of work right is given by the formula m1 d1 t1 divided by w1 r1 okay is equal to m2 d2 t2 divided by w2 and r2 if you if you rearrange this formula what do you get m1 d1 t1 divided by m2 d2 t2 is equal to w1 by w1 r1 by w2 r2 right this is what we get from here what do you observe this m1 d1 t1 men days and time are directly proportional to what work and rupees or means rupees or otherwise money right these two are directly proportional no and men in itself is inversely proportional to days right now because if it has to go this side it will be in the denominator will be inversely proportional to men will be inversely proportional to time as well hmm. and over here in it itself in 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 itself work work is what inversely no not work is not inversely proportional to rupees right is it hmm. so let, let let this one be here okay over here what do we observe like m1 d1 t1 is equal to w1 r1 is it it is m1 d1 t1 will be directly proportional to men days and time mdt is directly proportional to work and uh, the money uh, more the amount of men days or time let's like write it like this is directly proportional to more men means more work more days means more work more time means more work more time given means more money taken right in a sense right now and in a sense over here if number of men are higher number of days taken will be less and correspondingly number of time amount of time taken will be less right and over here from w1 r1 also we can also conclude that work is inversely proportional to rupees or money okay the kind of sense that we try to make over here is that okay individually the work done by each of the person is less that is why they will receive less amount of money this is what we mean right now by the way i'm not a very big uh, fan of these formulas too but people uh, tend to remember it and uh, it can help them as well in many of the situations okay these m1 d1 t1 by w1 r1 is equal to m2 d2 t2 by w2 r2 this entire thing is based on based on nothing but you know unitary method as well this is based on unitary method as well right okay so that's how things are so we learned this formula and this is the only thing we have to learn it's okay if you haven't really 
learned the proportional and uh, uh, you know inversely proportional and directly proportional part of it but think through it why it is there why m1 d1 t1 when expressed in this form you know crisscross cross form they were in front and why m1 uh, you know m1 d1 t1 is written together m1 and r1 w1 and r1 has been written together why is it so okay just think of it and just try to move one variable you know to this side of the equation equation sign to the other side so you'll get the clarity yeah so we'll use this formula over here okay we'll use the formula over here to complete uh, uh, this particular question over here right so 15 men can complete a work in 15 16 days 15 men 16 days if 24 men are required how many days will be there so what did we study m1 d1 t1 divided by w1 r1 is equal to m2 d2 t2 divided by w2 r2 we do not have this entire thing we do not really have to work with so it will eventually be m1 d1 is equal to m2 d2 m1 is 15 d1 is this much 24 d2 we don't know right that means d2 is equal to 10 okay essentially if you observe this one over here in the left hand side if you multiply this hmm, it will become 240 okay so 240 men days are required to complete the work okay 240 men days are required to complete the work that is why over here in the right hand side also you will require 240 men days to complete the work and that means essentially your d2 will have to be tens in order to make it your men days to be 240 right now okay so this is what we mean by over here and we have done it using the formula as well d2 answer option uh, c will be correct over here okay the gist of the matter over here is that we got to understand that how much amount of man hours or man days or how much amount of effort is actually being required to you know make it happen so we'll move to the next if m men or n women can do a piece of work in a days if m men or n women can do a piece of work in a days then x men and y women can do a same work in that is given by a formula called 1 by x divided by m into a plus y divided by n into a okay. i'm again not a very big uh, fan of formulae as well okay again right so but still uh you know uh, but still we'll try to understand how exactly it works out so if we use this formula over here if m men and n women if m men or n women so that means three men or four women can do a piece of work in 43 days right so if one man has to complete the work if one man has to complete the work he would take how many days he would take 43 into 3 days right and from here from here if one woman has to complete the work she will take 43 into 4 days <coughs> right she will take this many amount of days right now or otherwise you know simply we can also replace what we can also simply do we need to find seven men and and miss plus five women we know three men is equal to four women that means men is equal to four by three women it, i mean it cannot be the case that men are equal to four by three women it only means to say that one man's work is equal to one and one by three parts of work done by women so can we replace this value of m from here that means 4 by 3 women into 7 plus 5 women okay that means 28 by 3 women 
प्लस फाइव वेमेन ट्वेंटी एट थर्टी एट फोर्टी थ्री वेमेन ओके फोर्टी थ्री बाई थ्री वी हैव वेमेन ओवर हेयर ओके वॉट डिड वी लर्न इफ वी हैव फोर वेमेन दे कंप्लीट द जॉब इन फोर्टी थ्री डेज इफ वी हैड वन वेमेन ओनली शुड हैव टेकन फोर्टी थ्री इंटू फोर बट नाउ वी हैव फोर्टी थ्री बाय थ्री वेमेन ओके सो दैट मीन्स फोर्टी थ्री इंटू फोर डिवाइड बाय फोर्टी थ्री इंटू थ्री राइट दिस वन दिस वन गॉन ऑन टू टॉस ट्वेल्व विल बी योर आंसर ओवर ओके सी विदाउट यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला Now let's check what happens if we use the formula as such: x divided by, okay, over here, one by x divided by m into a, right? X divided by m into a. <sighs> if m men or n women can do a piece of work in a days, then x men and y women can do a piece of work. Okay, so the value of x over here is seven. Let's write it down. What are the values? X, Y, M, N, and A. What are the values? X, seven, Y, five, M and N are your three and four, and A is your forty-three. Right. So seven divided by M into A. M into A is how much? Three into forty-three plus Y. That means five divided by N A. N A means what? Four into forty-three. Now you can solve this by yourself at your own end to find twelve as your answer. I think using this one was uh, using the normal methodology was much more easier than using the formula. right buddy so shall we move to the next question next question or next concept right yes or no abhi karna is there is there buddy i can understand in this morning time it can be little dicey for you guys to wake up but still okay i'm also going to be a little quick in my approach so yes the seventh rule over here is that if a can do a work in x days and b can do y percent faster than a then this is given by a formula okay this is given by a formula then b will complete the work the completion of the work by b is given by a formula called 100x divided by 100 plus y right okay over here we have an example over here x can do a work in 16 days x can do a work in 16 days so that means x is equal to 16 in how many days will the work be completed by y if the efficiency of y is y percent is equal to 60 percent more than that of x so that means 100 into 16 divided by 160 right 100 plus 60 100 plus y over here the denominator part is what 100 plus 60 right no That means this one, this one got cancelled. This one, this one got cancelled. We are just left with ten days only. Now let's try to understand how exactly it works out. Essentially, there is x, there is y. X can do a work in sixteen days. In sixteen days, let us assume there is like one sixty work to be done. So x will do ten work per day, but y is sixty percent more efficient. That means y will be doing sixteen work per day, right? If y is doing sixteen work per day, upon calculating, we found out to complete the job y will take ten days only, right? Abhi karan, slap, slap, buddy, just wake up. Let's move on to the next question or the concept. Yeah. So if A, B, and C can do a piece of work in X, Y, and Z days respectively, and they received K rupees as the wages by working together. Then the share of A is given by the share of A is given by this formula. This formula called is this. There are this formula 
share of a is nothing but yz by xy plus yz plus zx into k similarly share of b is given by xz by xy plus yz plus uh, the lights on top over here so basically uh, what i was talking about uh, what i was talking about the formula over here these are the three formulas using which these are the three formulas using which uh, basically the share of a and b and c are deciphered okay and what do we have in the note if a and b can do a piece of work in x days and y days respectively then they received x k k rupees as the wages by working together then the share of a will be y k divided by x plus y and the share of b will be x k divided by x plus y right so let's just try to solve a question based on that so that uh, it, uh, we get some more clarity over it so over here is your uh, question one moment yeah okay yeah so this is the question x completes a job in two days y completes a job in three days and z completes a job in four days okay and they get the money of 3900 rupees right so what so how much does go to y okay so how much does go to y so the formula is like that we will write we will write what x and z okay we will not write y okay had it been had they asked you for x we would have written y z okay divided by x y plus y z plus z x in that order into the money that has been received what is xz that xz is 6 xy is again 6 yz is 12 and zx is 8 okay into 3900 that means 6 26 into 3900 300 three times that means 900 is your answer over here using formula Similarly, I this is a small assignment to you uh, and to the viewers out there to check what happens. Okay, like two days, three days, four days. So how much of work is there? Let us say only twelve work are there. Okay, so we will do six work. Okay, we will do like um, uh, you know how many work? Okay, four work, three work, like that. Right now, per day per day these many works they will do right now two works two days three days and four days uh, are taken by these people to complete the work individually so this much is the amount of work that needs to be done or let's just make it a little bit more higher in that case okay so whatever basically what happens is that in less than one day they are all all the three of them are completing the work so we need to find the uh, basically how efficient these guys are okay so this this is the ratio of their efficiency basically so 6 4 10 13 divided by 13 300 and now you just multiply that with this number to find the how much amount of uh, will be gotten by a that is 6 into 300 that means 1800 how much amount y will get that means 4 into 300 that is 1200 and how much amount z will get that is 3 into 300 that is 900 right guys so we'll move to the next question in that case next question or concept whatever we have over here buddy are you there or are you still uh, i mean are you, are you are you there right so if a and b can do a piece of work if A and B can do a piece of work in X and Y days respectively, and A and B started working together, but A left the work in T days before completing the work, then the time taken to complete the work will be 
there is also a formula for that okay which is given by x plus t into y divided by x plus y i'm not a very big fan of formulas let's uh, come across a question like this and we'll do it without formula okay because it's practically impossible to remember all this formula but if you want to remember this formula you can you might want to but i'm not a very big fan of it and i do not really suggest but yeah let's be familiar yeah there's no harm in learning right the second for one says that a and b do a piece of work in a and b days respectively both begin together but after some days a leaves the work and the remaining work is completed by b in x days then the time after which a left is given by okay like a and b started working together okay but after t what happens that a kind of leaves the work and the remaining work is completed by b alone in x days okay in the leftover of the days then the time after which a left is given by t like after how many days let's say it was to be completed in 20 days but then in actually uh you know actually what happens that after 15th day itself a left the job okay. so obviously it will get uh, completed in not in 20 days any longer but 22 23 24 or something like that depending upon the values i mean the number of days to complete the job will get a little bit extended right so it is given by t is equal to b minus x into a divided by a plus b right this is the formula let's come across a few of the questions like that we'll come across many of the questions in pyqs and practice questions and we'll solve it okay and we'll not solve it using this formula if you want to solve it using this formula you have it over here in front you can apply it but in the examination the, the same formula will strike again in your mind there is no guarantee of that that's the problem the third one is if a and b can do a piece of work in x and y days respectively they start working together and after t days b leaves the work the time taken to finish the whole work will be okay a and b started working together okay and they can work in x and y days respectively and after let us say like you know 15 days what happened that b left b left and in that case the amount of time taken to complete the work the entire work is given by formula called x by y into y minus t right one moment guys oh, yeah buddy sorry really really sorry about that uh, uh i got a call from home okay so these are the three formulas over here uh not so important but yeah there's formulas as well okay maybe if you are okay in working with all these variable numbers you can uh, work with it okay. do not suggest so yeah let's uh, do a few of the questions okay so akshu can do a piece of work in 10 days right can do a piece of work in 10 days and harshal can do the same work in 12 days they started working together but akshu left the work two days before completion of the work and the time taken to complete the work okay so akshu takes 10 days and harshu takes harshal takes 12 days let's can we assume like 60 units of work is to be done and in that case akshu does uh, six work every single day and harshu does five work every single day right right now so if they started working together but akshu left the work last two days okay last two days is over here this is your two days last two days ltd let's call it like that okay and this last two days was worked by whom by harshal alone by harshal alone worked for this time period and harshal was working at five work per day that means 10 work 10 unit of work was done over here right <clears throat> in the last two days let's call it a o b 10 work was done but in over here 
fifty work was done, right? And to complete this fifty work, which was done by both of these guys, how much of time must have must have been elapsed? So, work divided by time. Right now they are asking time taken to complete the work. So two days was also taken. Right now, so if we simplify this one, how much do we get? Fifty by eleven plus twenty-two by eleven. Can we can we write it like this? This two can also be written something like this for the easy for the sake of calculation. That means seventy-two by eleven. If we solve it. We will get six and six by eleven days as your answer. Let's check what happens when we use the formula as such. What happens when we use the formula? Okay. So the formula says x plus t into y divided by x plus y. The value of a, which is uh you know basically your x is 10 and uh, y is 12 okay and t is your 2 so just put this value 10 plus 2 into 12 divided by x plus y that means 22 that means uh, 12 into 12 divided by 22, 6, 11, 72 by 11, which will essentially give you nothing but option number A, 6 and 6 by 11 days. Right away, Karan, are you there? Buddy, are you there? Oh, sleeping. Sleeping? Go on, buddy, don't sleep. Even I feel sleepy then. Okay. Just wake up. Okay. Let's try and work around with the uh, next question over here. A can do a piece of work in 10 days. B can do the same work in 15 days. They started working together, but after two days. Earlier, what happened? That earlier, what happened? The formula that we used, x plus t into y divided by x plus y. This formula was for the fact that the last days they were not together. Okay, right now. Last days they were not together. But in majority of the days they were all working together, right? But in this case, what do we see over here is that they worked together only for a very short period of time. That is only for two days. Okay, right. So, they started working together but after two days, A left the work. The Remaining work was completed by B alone, then the time taken to complete the work. Okay. So there is a formula for that. So what is that formula for that? A can complete the work. That means A is equal to 10, Y is equal to 15, and T is equal to 2. This one, this particular question can be solved by using this formula. Please refer back to the previous slides. So that means 10 by 15, 15 minus 2. That means 10 into 13 by 15, 2 by 3, 26 by 3. Okay. That is 8 and 2 by 3 days. Over here, you can also try it using the generic method as well. Okay. Assuming A and B, the total amount of work, then how much work is being done by A and B in each of the days then in two days how much work a and b together they will do and how much of rest of the work is remaining now that a has left the remaining work has to be done by b alone so how much time it will be taken by b alone to complete rest of the work and then adding it two to it and you will get the answer okay so that would be a homework for you please do it from that side yeah, so there is this pipe and system question. Okay, problems on pipe and systems are based on the basic concept of time and work. Okay, pipes are connected to a tank or system and are used to fill or empty the tank or system. So there are a few of the important rules. The, the rules are pretty much the same as that of, you know, what we have studied in, uh, uh, you know, time and work. If two pipes A and B takes A and B, 
asked respectively to fill the tank. Then the two pipes together fill. How much? If two pipes take A and B asked to fill the tank, so together they will take one by A and one by B. They mean together they will fill one by A and one by B part of the tank in one hour. Right. And the time taken to fill the tank will be A B by A plus B. And this formula is nothing but A and B working together. Okay. These two formula are pretty much the same. Okay. A and B are working together and this A B by A plus B, this is pretty much the same. Okay. So if a pipe fills a tank in A hours, then in one hour, only one by A of the tank will be filled. A can fill a tank in 45 hours, pipe B can fill in 36 hours. If both the pipes are open in empty tank, how many hours they will be taking? Okay. A, B, let's do it. Let's just assume that A and B are the two different men. Okay. Takes 45 hours and 96 hours. Okay. What is the LCM of these two? Let's take it uh, 180. 180 work needs to be done. Or let's say 180 work needs to be done. This is the capacity of your tank. So how much is that? A will fill like how much? Four parts of it. Right. And B will fill how much? Five parts of it. And together they will fill nine parts of it. That means how much time they will take? 180 by 9. That means 20 hours will be taken. Right. So which one is the correct answer option? C will be the correct answer option over here. Right. Easy one. Similarly, the case is pretty much the same for, you know, if a pipe uh, can can fill a tank in A hours and uh, another pipe can fill the tank in B hours, but the third pipe empties the tank. Okay. So empties the tank means A can fill in A hours in B hours and C empties the tank. Since C empties the tank and that is why we have got this, empties the tank and that is why we have got this negative sign over here, part of the tank will be filled when all the three pipes are open and the time taken to complete the uh, tank will be ABC divided by BC plus AC minus AB hours. Okay. Which is nothing but ABC. Okay. That is BC. Uh, A is given by over here. BC plus AC minus AB and just the reciprocal of it is what? ABC. One moment, guys. How are you? One moment, buddy. Yes, buddy. Sorry for interruption. So just the reciprocal of it, what we find over here is that, you know, ABC divided by BC plus AC minus AB. Okay. So this is what they have given over here. Right. And the second one is that if a pipe can fill a tank in A, a hours, and another pipe can empty the tank. Okay. Whenever there is an empty the tank, you know, what we are doing is that minus sign is over here. So this is the effective rate with which the tank will be filled. And when, when both the pipes are open, you know, what will happen? Let's call it A1, A2. And this will be A2 minus A1. And just the reciprocal of it, what do we get? A1, A2 divided by A2 minus A1. At this hour, the work will be completed. That means either the tank will be filled or emptied. Right. So let's try to do this question over here. Two pipes A and B can fill the tank in 36, 45 minutes respectively. A waste pipe C can empty the tank in 30 minutes. How much time the tank, in how much time the tank is full if all the three pipes are open? So what happens if all the three pipes are open? A, B, and C completes the work in 36 minutes. B completes the work in 45 minutes. And C completes its work in 30 minutes. Okay. Nature of work done by A is positive because it fills. B also fills. C empties. Okay. Now, what is the LCM of 36, 45, and 30? It is 180. 
okay let us assume this this much is the capacity of the tank 180 liters so obviously if it is a is filling the tank of 180 liters in 36 minutes that means 5 liter is being filled per minute right and over here 4 liter is being filled per minute and c is emptying minus 6 liter per minute okay that means eventually 4 plus 5 that is 9 minus 6 net only 3 liters are being filled per minute right okay plus and this one eventually and effectively only 3 liters are being filled per minute okay so how much time it is being taken time will be 180 liter has to be filled and 3 liters per minute is being filled so the time taken will be all 60 minutes over here and the correct answer option will be a as your answer so yes abhikaran uh, are you there we are done with the concepts over here thank you so much for joining